and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be going over what I use to tow and hook up my trailer, but also what I use to uh, distribute my weight properly. So let's get after it. Okay, so if we were to record this video about a year and a half ago, this would have been the setup that I would use. I would use a reducer sleeve to go from two and a half to two inch, and then I would use one of these because all the trailers that I hook up, I use two and five sixteenths, or I use a two inch, and so I flip them back and forth quite a bit. And so this is my, what I used to use. Now, if you have one of these, you know it's a major issue and you want to get rid of it as soon as possible. So what we did to uh, counteract this problem is we went with a way safe hitch and we went with a two and a half inch shank on it with a, with a six inch drop. So this way I don't have to use any reducer or sleeve. I can slide that out of the way. I can pop this in. And then as far as the uh, ball, being changeable this one actually is changeable with a two and five sixteenths and a two inch and it's very simple you just slide it off like this you've got a pin in here the ball comes out pop your two inch in and it's that simple you slide it back on quick, easy, and lightweight. So this actually is the aluminum version, and I went with the aluminum version because here in Utah we have to deal with the nastiest of salt roads in the winter, and I don't like to pull my hitch off and clean it every time I use it. So this is actually what my hitch looks like after a year and a half of sitting outside in Utah. So no rust, I mean that's you know what you get with aluminum, you don't get any rust, it's not gonna corrode over time, it's not gonna get stuck together, it's not gonna be hard to slide up and down this, this uh, groove here. It's not going to be hard to change out the ball. A little bit of road grime, clean it off, and you're good to go. Okay, so if you drive a half ton or a three quarter ton, or if you're pulling with like even a Jeep or an SUV, a small trailer or something like that, um, one of these way safe hitches is great because you don't have a lot of vehicle weight. And when you go to stop uh, and your weight is weighing more than you and you're not loaded out properly, your chances of wrecking go way up. So the reason why I went with the way safe hitch is because it has a built-in scale here on the side. Um, the max tongue weight for this specific hitch, the two and a half inch shank, shank six inch drop is 2,200 pounds with a trailer weight of 14,500 pounds. And that's all engraved here into the side as well as their website uh, and some more information made in USA, patent pen and all that stuff. So um, really just a, a, a great piece of equipment here. You can load your weight out properly and the proper weight dis distribution for a trailer is 10 to 15%. Um, so optimally you're gonna be about 12%. Okay, another perk with uh, aluminum is it's way, way lighter than a steel hitch. So if you're taking this out and you're you know putting it in your truck, if you're changing your ball out all the time, it's not gonna weigh near as much as the steel one. So that's another good upside to it. Um, all around, I mean, let's just go over and recap. So we get rid of the reducer. Um, that makes a big difference. We've got almost 15,000 pounds of trailer weight capable with this on a two inch ball, um, or on the two and five sixteenths ball. Um, you've got this on the side. It does have a lock on it with a dust cover. You don't have to worry about any grime getting in there. So that's, that's an upside as well. A uh, huge shout out to Waysafe for making just such a quality part. Um, this has, I mean, this has been an incredible part for me. That's kind of all I have for the video. I'll just show you kind of sliding it in real fast. And, uh, that makes the, uh, the job simple. Okay, so just like this, we take out the reducer and it slides right in here. Right there. Perfect. And then you'll throw your pin in. This pin is actually too short. Um, I got a locking one, but I got a cheap locking one and it actually, that one actually did rust out. Um, and so I just had to cut it off because I switched this off to pull up um, a skid steer. So I had to get a, a, a pinnel uh, receiver on here. But anyway, you get a three inch one, just make sure that it fits. If you have a 2017 and up Super Duty and you have the three inch shank, 
um, you'll, you'll want to make sure that uh, whatever one you get is long enough. But they also do make this in a 3-inch shank, a 2-inch shank, and a 2.5-inch shank. So um, that's it for today's video, guys. I hope this helped you out. Um, I hope it kind of gives you an idea of what, uh, what I use to tow. Um, it's very important to me that I'm loaded and distributed properly because we do pull a lot of weight. We pull upwards of 30,000 pounds, um, even as low as, you know, 3,500 pounds. And no matter how much you're pulling, you should be uh, distributed evenly. So if this video helped you out today, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and make sure to hit that subscribe button because we'll be coming at you with videos like this all day long. Peace. Okay, real quick, I'm just going to show you guys uh, in real time how fast it is to actually change this ball out. So here we go. time.